slight moment to stretch. Whew. Okay, feeling a little bit better. We resume the grind. Wasn't quick enough with that throwing knife. I don't know why I bother throwing knives on those. really need to save them for the enemies that actually matter in any kind of capacity. Oh, one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, that was about some uh, car issues I've got going on and just um, what the plans are for this coming week. I had the lovely experience of having a uh, master brake cylinder go out on me while I was driving. And as a result, that is not in the shop getting fixed. So, borrowing a, ve borrowing a vehicle in the interim to make sure I can get to and from my day job. The joys of car maintenance and transportation. How I hate you. <laughs> I don't mind driving. Driving, I can do all day, more or less every day, and probably be pretty okay with. Something I am always less thrilled about is any kind of car maintenance. And that's bit me once or twice, if I'm being honest. But, yeah, because I mean, I, I, I used to drive an hour each way for work every day, and I did that for like a year and a half. And I didn't really mind it. It wasn't really ever much of a problem for me. I just hate the uncertainty that comes up with car maintenance because you it's so hard to tell like when something goes wrong, like how much further that will end up going. And that is just the worst. We finally got it, and it was a silver ingot. I can tell you I will probably never come back and farm those things. Not not really about that. 
so let's uh let's look at some of these enemies so bone crawler and specter have no drops zombies have another drop cobras have another drop the fly pods have a drop skeletons spider white meat man Oof. There's going to be a lot of things to kill over in this next area. I that is such a bad area to have fight one of those things. I'm not sure what the best strategy is for them when they're in that kind of position. So we're gonna hit this save point. This window ghost spot is a uh, creepy AF. No secret passages here. Okay. Okay, so where are the best places to try and farm things in here? want to really farm down there okay so I can farm the fly pod in here and a cobra and a zombie so this is actually a good room for several of the things I need should be pretty straightforward to deal with most of the time. Fly pod? I don't know how we're going to do it against that one. But once you're once you eliminate the flies, it is less of a problem. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I really should be hitting that lantern. Okay, so that I do need to jump over. Just kill all four of them in one swing, why don't we? are going to be the annoying ones that's I, I think I've already decided that oh uh, what let's see what I have in my inventory yeah let's go ahead and pop those there, there's no sense holding on to them They just really hang on to you. That's the biggest problem. Jesus. They do take damage and essentially just die though.
So that should help a decent bit. I already knew about that drop from the Cobra, so that doesn't really help me any. Lives do drop money though, so I might I might make some decent money here as well. Uh, which is ironic, because I don't really need the money at this juncture. The zombie one I think I should be more or less pretty easy to avoid, which is for the best. Usually non-good things happen when you get grabbed by a zombie. So far this is going a little rough. Hey, got War Club. That's one of the items down. Ow. I didn't turn around to deal with it. That one wasn't too bad. Where do I... I guess I just pop up there and then warp somewhere to save. Oh, cobras are rough to deal with if you miss that miss the opportunity slot. iPod is going to be the bane of my existence so I can feel it. I don't know if that was the bird or whether I somehow clipped it from the back. It could really be either. Note to self, don't walk into the fly pod. A heaving mass of biological material that spits out flies does not behoove your health. Like, despite the encounter seemingly not being very difficult, it is a little bit of work to try and avoid the damage. This bird has saved me so much damage in this endeavor of mine. I really need to be hitting that lantern. I don't know why I don't. Man, still no real luck.
I am tempted. Let's look at my equipment. Engineer's Vest is pretty good for a bunch of different things. Uh, anything that increases my luck a lot. That leather belt is actually not bad. Oh, they, they get... D okay. So we equip that. And then, is there anything that massively increases my luck for a weapon? No. Okay. Let's see how this does for me. Man, that luck scroll does not last super long. Okay, so throwing a knife on that thing doesn't make a bunch of difference. So, so throwing knife, like there is a falling stat of some variety, or a spread stat of some variety, rather. Okay, I'm not in Incredibly impressed with the luck stat. Did get Ruby out of that though. Okay, well, I need to go heal because, yeah, that's that's been taking some damage. Actually, I think we're going to go heal and then we're going to progress in the game a little bit. I've did a lot of grinding for items and I want to actually make it somewhere in the game. We'll probably come back to that here in a little bit though. Yeah, so we're to the gardens. And let's see. Where do I want to try and go? I assume I want to go to the top right. Or maybe it's just this one. Because maybe my luck stat just isn't high enough to reasonably farm these things. That's a very real possibility. 
Oh boy, this is a boss. Or maybe not. this way still. I guess we go up here because that's where we can go right now, I think. Let's see what we get. Hopefully something good. Uh. Oh well, lost two MP. Not in the world. It helps that um, you can get you can buy scrolls that will just increase your stats. I do not like that pendulum. Oh. I do not like those pendulum vines. Those do not make me feel good. Okay, let's try not to suck at this. Okay, we we sucked a little bit less than we did a moment ago. How would I even know? This garden area, I oh Jesus, this. Oh. Is there a save room? Well, there's something. Oh, this is just a zone switch? Okay, we don't want to do that yet. There, we, we fixed our max MP issue. This area is just full of... I don't want any of it. Stupid mushrooms that explode. How do I even get to that other part over there? Oh, Jesus! This is not what I want in my life. Okay. In the list of things that I want in my life, a giant hornet is not one of them. supposed to avoid that. Can I? Well, 
my uh, little bird got all of that experience. Um, what level is my bird hat now? 17. Okay. Well, that kind of sucked. Okay, well, um, I killed a giant hornet. Okay, well, I'm a little concerned about my health, if I'm being very honest about that. And I don't want to do a zone transition with low health. some kind of like wall jump ability or something to just not even playing that game with him I don't have the health to I will see if this is a stage room up here. It is not. I want nothing to do with it. Nothing about this is good. God, okay. So I just need to get all the way down. Okay. If I go nice and slow. Not a problem. Nice and slow. Okay. We made it here. We can go recover our health from the mines. I actually thought I, I was going to handle that hornet really well and then I just really didn't so this year the water level should now be high enough for me to get up Okay, well, I didn't really handle that well, did I? <sighs> Blue dinosaur death. What 
about that. What the heck is this zone and why does it hurt? I do not like this zone. Please be a safe room. Why does this game just hate save rooms? Because, I mean, granted, I guess there's one just like right there, but that's that's like forever away. I'm sorry, where am I? Well, that hurt. Okay, that's super stressful. I don't like those enemies. They those are super hard to dodge. Okay, so I mean that's useful, but like... So, I mean I think once it, like if I get a double jump, like I'll be able to deal with those guys a lot better. But as is... I don't have double jump and I have to just rely on them not bouncing up at a weird angle and screwing me over. Oh, that acts as a health restore. That is great. No, I've got to check that. And of course there wasn't anything there, because why would there be anything there? Okay, so I know there's an item down here.
Luck roll. Got a bag of flour. So I just need one more bag of flour and I can go up to the city. Who is this dude? Cade. Thank you for coming to the rescue. My name is Cade. I'm a hunter and trapper. I knew something foul was afoot when the wildlife started to disappear. I have been hunting in these mountains for years and I have never seen anything like this. I'm going to return to town and see what I can do to get Karthus back to normal. Well, I got some salmon. Listen here, you blue, you blue dino, you can go and die. I don't like those blue dinos. Uh, they're, their attack frame or whatever is just, I guess not their attack frame, but their jump is a little quick and as a result it almost always punishes me <sighs> one of these rooms I am not in a good way, friends. Well, this is a better medallion bell, I would think. Well, it is. Let me actually use the tool. I just, I don't have the health to risk it. See, I don't know that I can... I just don't know that I can make it all the way back over. Okay, no bag of flour. I was really hoping that'd be a bag of flour. I gotta be ready to pop a healing item. Oh. Why does it have to be one of these gorilla things? Let's just pop a potion.
It was a good call. God, it's dead. This is just way too dangerous. Has to be a save room. Okay, so this is gonna be a boss. giant statue head um what am i supposed to even do there Okay, well, uh, that's a boss. Hum. Okay. What is... What even is that profile picture? Wait, what is it? Is that 55%? Is that like... I don't even know what that was at 55%. I'll have to pay attention more next time. Okay. That's not a good start. But let's let's give this another go. I know at least what to kind of expect now. to quit just getting hit like that. Let's go ahead and pop this potion. Okay. 
he really didn't end up having that much health, which is amazing. Okay. What's the deal here? Climbing gear. Press against the wall while falling, then press jump to wall jump. Okay. So it's actually pretty tactile. Not bad at all. Where is this taking me? Okay, listen here, game. Well, I mean, I guess it at least saved me some of the trouble. But I know I gotta come back here anyhow. So let's go get that item over there. So there's definitely some zones that have those shortcut paths. Okay, so there is an item up here. If I can jump well enough to not be bad. And I still can't get the item. Okay. Um. So where could I, could I not go? I know I couldn't go down there at the very bottom of that mine shaft. Down there, I I know there's something. Um. The only other place is potentially over there at that other point. Okay, so that gives us a couple new ways we can kind of go. I know there's some places in the catacombs I couldn't go before. I don't even know why I'm bothering going that way. I haven't fallen against this wall. Okay. I wonder how they are going to justify uh, either like some kind of stronger jump or double jump ability in the game. Because most of the things seem to be, you know, kind of thought out from a realistic gear perspective. So there has to be some, like, issues with that at some point. Oh, that's great news. You found Ethel, did you? She's the heart and soul of this town, you know? And she keeps us all in line. Great work. I'm glad to have Cade back. He knows these mountains like the back of his hand. So, who all is left? Princess, Jinx, 
Grant, Rupert. Interesting, but there's no Farron. It's nice to see you again. Karthus is very remote, so it's my job to hunt and stock up for the long winters. Unfortunately, during the attack, a group of kobolds stole all, all of the venison that I was curing. Even worse, most of these animals are either hibernating or they were frightened off by the disturbance in the mines. Now the town is running dangerously low on supplies, and I'm partly to blame. I need to get that meat back from those kobolds, but I'm a hunter, not a warrior. If you can help me recover four cuts of venison from them, I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Please let me know if you have any luck. You recovered the venison. Truly, you have gone above and beyond. Here, take my hunting sword as a token of my gratitude. I hope it helps you on your quest. 